Hey, this is the Fight Nerd here with Sifu Nick Sakulis in Queens, New York at Progressive Martial Arts. We're here to test out this bad boy right here, which is the Ring to Cage Body Protective Vest. Nick, first thoughts upon seeing this guy? Uh, it's pretty big. You know, it uh, definitely covers your whole body. It's not for a smaller size guy, but uh, we'll see how it holds up. All right, now, Nick, what kind of pads do you guys normally use here at PMA? For body protectors, we have Windy uh, as well as Warrior and uh, also Twins. Now, before we start kicking the crap out of this thing, let's hear some words from the manufacturer about what's in it. The Ring to Cage Body Trainer's Protective Vest offers full protection for the upper body. It features gel tech padding to stop the impact of shock from strikes to the targets and is made of durable synthetic leather. Its lightweight design is secured by two adjustable shoulder straps with buckle closures and one rear strap with a velcro closure. The vest weighs just under 5 pounds and is one size fits all. So with our fighters from Progressive Martial Arts all suited up, it was time to put this product to the test. Uh, the padding was uh, pretty good, actually surprising. I didn't really think it was going to be able to take that much of a shot uh, when I first saw it. Uh, as far as the, the strap system also was pretty good. It, didn't, it never came off or even close to coming off. Kind of uncomfortable. I always felt not uncomfortable for me punching as much as I can tell that Eric, who was holding the pad for me, felt uncomfortable. Every time I would punch, you saw him kind of twerk a little bit just out of you know discomfort. Uh, once you put it on the chest protector, I see the lining all around it, the, the stitching part is a little uncomfortable around your neck, which, uh, you know, when you put your hands down and when you, while you're feeding, doesn't matter if you have focus mitt or you have tie pad, it roughs up against your elbow and around, um, you know, the lower part of your hand. That's a little uncomfortable. Hitting-wise, I didn't get a chance to, to get the feel of the hit, but uh, according to the padding-wise, if you hit correctly, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit looser around the side, so if you do get hit, it's the loose end that's going to keep hitting you, it's not the actual impact of the pet, so. It's pretty hard, um, like somebody else described it, kind of like styrofoam, you know what I mean? It wasn't soft, it didn't have a, a lot of give, which is good, but it didn't necessarily feel good punching it either. The design wise is pretty good, I really like the Velcro style. Uh, when the Velcro uh, on the back goes, goes up, there's two latches that hooks up and keeps the Velcro around your waist secure so it doesn't um, move around and go out of place. But um, apart from the uncomfortable, straps, corners that can stretch up um, your skin. I think um, the pad is, is actually pretty decent. One thing that did bother me was the stitching on the outside. It has a lot of uh, excess uh, slack, which seemed to really dig into the arms, dig into the hip, uh, dig into my throat a little bit, uh, especially if uh, they were going body shots, like as far as uh, uppercuts or hooks to the body or knees. That's when it really shoots in. Uh, I didn't really get to try it in the clinch, but uh, as far as knees go, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, the same effect with the knees just going right up into your neck. What's going on, Nick? Oh, we're just going to put it to the test. Is that a baseball bat in your hand, I see? Absolutely. And what's going to happen with that baseball bat? Uh, we're just going to test out the gear, see how it holds up. Let's find out. All right. Ready? It looks sad enough. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> that's good. Oh. Tony, how you feeling? It's, it's all right until the last hit hit. That wasn't so pretty feeling. But uh, it's sturdy. I didn't feel most of the shots. I just worried about missing. So the chest was good, but the side not as much. Chest was good, side not as much. But you survived, that's what matters. I survived, that's what matters. Protection, it was fantastic. Uh, you know, we really was able to take a shot. You know, we really put it to the test. So, you know, I'm positive that if you're wearing this, you're, you're gonna come out uh, safe as far as impact. I would make uh, around the corner a neoprene. Neoprene, what it does, it, acts, it, it adds on a little bit more comfortability. When you're putting it on, it doesn't rough up against your skin. And it, I mean, it doesn't shave or it doesn't scratch up. And also it can soak up all, all the moisture or all the sweat that goes in and it doesn't uh, rough it up against your skin. Uh, for $85, it's, I would say it's borderline. It's, it's pretty good for that price. I've seen uh, systems like this, you know, better systems, but they're also a lot more, uh, you know, ranging from 100 to $150. So for, you know, $85, I think it's pretty good. No, 
<laughs> no, I wouldn't buy it. Um, just because, you know, I, I fortunately didn't have to wear it, but just from, you know, the way Eric was wearing it, he didn't like it at all. And for me personally, I don't, you know, I wouldn't use it, so it wouldn't be worth it for me. 85 bucks, I wouldn't buy it. I mean, I, once, I, once I try it on for, for a minute or two, you know, like you can right away tell the difference once you put it on over your neck into your body. You move it around your neck and, and you definitely feel it. So I don't think it's worth it. Once the improvements are made, I think it'll be worth it. So the consensus on the protective vest was that while it does offer good protection overall, there were a few design flaws in terms of comfort for the wearer, especially around the neck. Our testers agree that this vest was made for a taller coach as well, rather than a smaller person like the ones who were reviewing this product, and that would likely negate some of the comfort issues. At this price point, it's not a bad vest by any means, but it could use a few improvements to make it a great vest. If you want to buy yourself one of these vests or check out others, head to ringdecage.com. And if you want to learn more about progressive martial arts in Queens, New York, head to progressivemartialarts.com. I am the Fight Nerd. Thanks for watching. This is just awkward now.